this fastest of the eight time finals and the fastest of all has been Central Bucks West. They won the District 1 championship at 354.27 seconds. That is a all but three seconds faster than a, or two seconds faster than the rest of this field and close to a three second difference. Imagine all of them finishing at that District 1 meet all together like that. The state record in the girls 4x400 was set by Penwood, also from District 1. In 2016, they ran 342.67 seconds. So Central Box West, the clear favorite as the race starts. So Central Bucks West is in this. They already have 43 points. So they may get six, eight, or 10 more points. So they're the clear winners in the 3A with all the events contested. And at any time, one of their arch rivals, North Penn, has made a move in lane seven, but that is countered by South Fayette now in lane six. As the Lions of South Fayette have moved out to a, a solid surge as they make the second turn. Cumberland Valley in lane five is in second with CB West in lane three in fourth and a hard charging McCaskey team in lane three moving on CB West. As the runners hit the start finish line for the exchange of the baton in the first 400 meters to the second. South Fayette still won, but that goes away quickly after the exchange. McCaskey had a great exchange there. They did, and they have moved to the front of the pack as a result. And now after this turn, they will move to the rail. Still very close. McCaskey was in first, but that changes as Central Bucks West has moved back into first place. And Penridge is now in second place with McCaskey now in third. And Cumberland Valley now in fourth. That's the top four with some separation between themselves and fifth. CB West in first. McCaskey and Penridge in second. And Cumberland Valley in fourth. Exchange number two to number three about to happen right now. All eight teams still within three seconds of each other. So this the third of the four legs. CB West is one, McCaskey is two, Penridge is three, and Cumberland Valley is four. And now Cumberland Valley makes a move from fourth to third as Central Bucks West has started to extend its lead a bit, about a 12-yard advantage right now for the box. <laughs> Athena Tomlinson running the third leg for Central Bucks West, but now the field is starting to close on them. Cumberland Valley making a strong push. An outstanding third leg run by Mia Boardman has closed the gap. Wow. And Cumberland Valley is going to be right there at the exchange for the anchor position. CB. And they come out of it in first yep. due to the exchange. CV was first to the stick. Nice job. Riley Ebersol scheduled to run the anchor position, the 10th grader, right now in first place. With Central Bucks West on their heels. CB West anchor position was scheduled to be Kate Edenson. We saw her just a little while ago, and she has moved her way back into the front of the pack. Kate Edenson in first place. For Central Bucks West, Cumberland Valley in second. Penridge is now in third. South Fayette has moved up to the fourth spot. Edenson in first. CB West trying to take home the gold in the girls four by 400 meters. Cumberland Valley will not have enough to catch them. Penridge will finish second. South Fayette, it will, or, Excuse me, Penridge will finish third, and South Fayette will finish in fourth. Great job on the exchange, the third to the fourth anchor for Central Bucks West, and Kate Edenson took it from there. That's why we like to finish with that event. It's <laughs> always exciting.
So many changes that occur. So the official time for Central Bucks West, 355.69. That is the championship time for Central Bucks West, the winners of the girls four by 400 meter relay. So if there was any question before as to who the team champion in girls might be, it is over now. Central Bucks West will be your champion in girls class 3A. 53 points. So now it is the boys as we take one more look at the race for the girls. South Fayette got off to the fast start, and then eventually that was passed. And CB West, McCaskey, Pen Penridge were all jockeying for position, and all of a sudden Cumberland Valley came into the mix, and they came into the mix very strong right here at that exchange to the second and third runner. But then the fourth for Central Bucks West was Kate Edenson, and she took it home for the gold. Some great video for technique on baton passes. There were some excellent, excellent passes there. So let's take a look now at our field for the first of three time trials, time finals for the boys four by 400. Lane one is Clearfield out of District 9. Lane two is Southwestern out of District 3. Shippensburg also from District 3 is in Lane 3. Archbishop Ryan from District 12 is in Lane 4. Conestoga Valley from District 3 is in Lane 5. Wallen Pawpack from District 2.